Don't play none yet. That's a great word. It's not about us. For, for Instagram culture and a Snapchat culture, for them to say it's not about us, that's a word right there. 
Come on, let them hear how much you're proud of them for now. It's not about us. It's about Jesus. I just want you to sing that part again. Not about us. It's about Jesus. Come on. Y'all need to sing this. About us. Hey students, hey, I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all are having an amazing, amazing summer. Um, I'm excited to get a chance to hop into the Word with you all today. We are in week three of our series, Only the Young. And I'm excited to get a chance to hop into the Word with you all today. My name is Daryl, and I'm excited for the opportunity that we have this week just to spend some time with God and to just learn from His Word. So as we dive into that, I want to ask you all a question. Have you guys ever been around an environment that has been extremely, extremely loud? This could be either a football game, this could be either a soccer game, this could be maybe a concert that you were going to or have been at before, but at that place, at that environment, it was loud, right? It was extremely loud. You were trying to maybe have a conversation with somebody and you couldn't hear because the noise was so loud in the room. And, and, and I always think about, hey, how can I focus on, hey, this conversation I'm trying to have with my friend that, that might, might have came with me or maybe you try to take a phone call. And it's like, how can I have a conversation? How can I focus on, on that conversation when the noise is so loud around me, right? And I think so oftentimes as us, as we are, are young or as students right now, there can be a lot of, of noise in our lives. There can be things to where it, it might seem extremely loud and, and it might be noise over here, noise over there, noise on social media, noise on the radio, noise from Spotify or Apple Music. And there's all this noise that is surrounding our lives where it can make it hard for us to focus. But then you even think about us as, as we're young, as we're in middle school and high school, and, and you're thinking about all the different decisions that you have to make coming up in your lives. Some of you guys might be thinking about, hey, what, what's the friend group I should be hanging around? Some of you guys might be thinking about, hey, what, what college should I go to? And some of you guys might even be thinking about, hey, what, what, what does it mean for me to even follow Jesus? What does, what does faith even look like? And you're trying to discern, hey, I, should I make this decision? Should I make this decision? Should I go here? Should I go there? Who should I spend my time around? And it can be extremely, extremely, extremely hard when there is so much noise. And I know the times that, that when the noise gets really, really loud, we tend to always go the direction of when the noise gets really, really loud. Like if somebody screams all the way over there, immediately our attention goes straight to where the noise is at. But if the noise is so loud around us, we're oftentimes thinking, hey, what is really the decision that I need to make? Where do I truly need to go when the noise seems so loud everywhere we turn? And oftentimes this has come true even in the Bible. And, and Paul was even trying to, to, to get Timothy, his young son in the faith, to, to know these things, to really tell him these final, final words as Paul was on his, his, his dying bed, giving away his last breath. And, and in this uh, book, Paul writes two letters to Timothy in 1 Timothy and in 2 Timothy. And this is kind of where we're anchoring our, our series in, and it, it's in this one verse. And it's 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12, and it just says this, as we just review it, it just says, don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. I'll read it again. It says, do not let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, 
and in purity. And we've been coming back to this verse a lot because this is one thing that Paul really wanted Timothy to understand as he was young. That, hey, you can be the example as somebody who is young. You can be the example for believers, for the people that are around you, even though you are young. And that is what Paul wants him to understand. That, hey, the, the, the stakes are high for you, Timothy. That, that, that this is not just, just a little thing. This is a big thing. And, and he's telling Timothy, hey, Timothy, I trust you. I know you're young, but I want you to set the example. But students, I know oftentimes for, for, for us that may be young, it can kind of feel hard to set that example even though we have so much noise that is around us. That, that you know, hey, maybe what maybe a leader is telling you or maybe what God's word is telling you to, to be the example in, in this generation. But when the noise is so loud around us and there's so many distractions around us, it can be really hard for us to focus and to make the right decision. So that's what we're going to talk about today, about how we can insert wisdom into our life to make the right decision. And that's all Paul was really trying to do with Timothy. He was saying, hey, Timothy, I, I have some, some, some clear things that, that I want you to do. I, I'm kind of serving as your, your, your mentor here, the one that, that has discipled you, the one that is, that, that's leading you. And, and in spite of all this noise, Timothy, I, I want you to listen to me as I'm trying to guide you through this life. And in the two letters that Timothy, that, that, that Paul wrote to Timothy, Paul just says a couple things that, that he wants Timothy to live out. Paul gives Timothy just some advice for him as he's young and as Paul's older. Paul just gives Timothy just, just some quick life advice for Timothy. And he just says just a couple of things. He, he says, hey, Timothy, hey, this is how you can, you can fix your, your, your stomach problems. Hey, this is what to do when people are fighting. Hey, this is what it takes to be a good Leader. He even says, hey, these are some people that you want to avoid who are who are bad news. He even says that as well. He says, hey, Timothy, this is this is how you handle money or hey, Timothy. Hey, this is kind of some some of the things that you need to avoid. And he tells Timothy in both of these letters, hey, these are the, the this advice that, that, that I'm giving you. I want you, Timothy, to know that as someone that's older than you, I've navigated these waters before. I, I, I've been here before. I have the experience with these things because I'm older. I've been through it before. And Timothy, I want to set you up for success. And so that's why he writes these two letters to Timothy in 1 Timothy and in 2 Timothy, just to give Timothy, who's young, some life advice for how to move forward in his faith. And that's, that, that's what we all need to know, is that we all need wisdom from someone who is older. We all need someone that, that, that's gone before us, that's somebody that has, that has navigated the waters that we have navigated through so that we can make the wise decision. And when the noise seems to be so loud currently right now, whether we go to school, whether it's around our family, whether it's on social media, whether it might be the music that we might be listening to, now we can be influenced in so many different ways from all the different voices that we might be hearing. But we need to know that we need to, need to have somebody that we, that we trust, somebody that's older, somebody that can give clear wisdom for how we are supposed to live our lives as we are young. And that's what Timothy had in Paul. And it makes me even think about a time when, when I was in high school. And I needed some, some, some wisdom, some guidance, because in high school, I was in, in my freshman year. I'm coming right into high school from middle school. I'm on the football team. And I'm, I'm, I'm asking myself the question, man, how, how do I navigate this right now? How do I navigate being young, being on the football team, being a high schooler, coming from, from middle school? I, I needed help. And I remember asking my, my coach, Coach Lemons, I'll never forget it. I said, Coach, hey, I, I need your help. How, how do I navigate this time in high school when there's so many challenges, so many things that might be pulling for my attention? Coach, how, how do I navigate this? And he sat me down and he said, hey, Daryl, hey, this is how the next four years are going to look like for you. 
These are some of the challenges that you are, are going to face. These are the people that you need to have in your life. This is probably the right friend group that you need. And then even when it came to being an athlete, he even helped me out just saying, hey, I know you have these goals when it comes to being on the field. Hey, this is how I can help you accomplish these goals. And why did he say that? He said this, because I've been here before. I've done this before. I have the experience. And I needed that so much in my time in high school because, y'all, I was young. I did not have all the answers. I had a lot of noise in my life, but those noise were not giving me the answer that I needed. I needed someone older than me. I needed Coach Lemons at that time to give me the clear direction for my life as somebody that was in high school, as somebody that was young. And y'all, that is what we need. We need the wisdom from someone that is older than us to help us navigate the challenges that we might be wrestling with as we are in middle school and as we are in high school. It's essential. So you guys might be thinking, hey, how do I go and get wisdom from somebody that's older? I, I know there's, there's a lot of people that might be out there, but how do I go and get wisdom from somebody that's older than me? Great question. First thing that you have to do is to pick a mentor. Pick a mentor, pick somebody that is, that's older than you, somebody that you can trust, somebody that, that knows you well, that can give you clear direction for how to navigate life as somebody that is young. Because the best thing that you can do is to ask those questions now rather than go through the experience of it later, maybe the pain of it later. Ask the questions now of that mentor so that you can navigate life now and to get all the wisdom you need from them. That is so essential for us to either one, make wise decisions and to know that that person that's older than us, they can really tell us the truth that we really need. They can really tell us, hey, this is really the right decision that you need to make even though your feelings might feel this way. That's all wisdom is, is for us just to be clear about the decisions that we need to make as students. So pick a mentor, pick somebody that, that, that you trust, that you know, that can help you navigate through life right now as a high school. Because wisdom is the best thing that you can get as you are young. I promise you it is. So pick wisely when it comes to the mentors that you select. So all wisdom is, Wisdom is, 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 it just comes from experience. It comes from somebody who is, who's older, that, that, that knows those, those courses that you navigated. That's all wisdom is, is, is experience from those that might be older than us. So what if it's somebody that is 30 years older than you, 40 years older, years older than you, you know, somebody that you might think, hey, I, I don't know if I should really be hanging out with this person because they might seem old. Hey, that is a person that you want to spend some time with and just ask them a couple of questions about how to navigate life right now as someone who is young. Yo, I know being young is such an amazing time for your life. There's so many opportunities that, that you have that are right in front of you. An amazing thing that God wants to do in your life right now. But the best thing that you can do right now as a student is to get wisdom from somebody that's older than you and to, and to get a mentor that can even help you navigate through life right now as a student. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom is important for us to get from someone older so that we can navigate through life right now as someone who is young. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, God, thank you so much for who you are. Thank you so much for giving us wisdom from your word and also wisdom from someone that is older than us. And I pray that we would use this wisdom to help us to navigate through life right now as we are young. Lord, we love you. We thank you. And it's in your son's name that we do pray. Amen.